Between rosy-cheeked racist Jeff Sessions and the world's only lobotomized brain surgeon, Ben Carson, <laughs> Trump appointees are embarrassing this country on the regular. But there are some pretty horrific politicians overseas who are helping to make America comparatively great again. Allow me to introduce you to Poland's Janusz Korwin-Mikke. Uh, or as I know him, Jigsaw before the filler. <laughs> When he's not bartending in The Shining, he's a member of the European Parliament. And if you think he looks like Hell's Carnival Barker, that's because he is. Last week, during a debate about the gender pay gap, he said this. Women must earn less than men because they are weaker, they are smaller, they are less intelligent, and they must earn less. That's all. Yes! Legendary! I Forever. Definitely. Hey, dude, I'm not exactly sure how to say this in Polish, but suck my filthy tits. <laughs> Later on, when Rip Van Shitbag was confronted by reporters about his remarks, he didn't back down. Wie pani co? A co wy się? Nie pani poda mi jeden wynalazek zrobiony przez kobietę. Jeden. Marniek też była kobieta. Kiri Skłodowska? Ale proszę, wynalazek dokonany przez kobietę. To, to Piotr, Piotr Kuri. No, you know what? He's right. I can't name one thing invented by a woman. Well, that's a real bummer. I can name 10. Plot twist. <laughs> Car heaters, fire escapes, refrigerators, ice cream makers, liquid paper, Kevlar, Wi-Fi, dishwashers, solar heating, and medical syringes. Uh. Deal with us. Those are all the things that I got in my very messy divorce. It was so messy. Lemony Prickett here doesn't spend all his time offending women, though. He spreads his hate far and wide. He also claimed that Hitler didn't know about the Holocaust, and he thinks survivors are turning it into an industry. You know what? I expect nothing less from a man who looks like he opened the Ark of the Covenant, but his face didn't finish melting. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I hate to do it, I gotta give Corvin Mike credit. He's such a vile snake dick that his mere existence overseas is somehow making America comparatively great again. Yeah. <laughs> 